buyers are liars is an old saw in sales. As salespeople, we have to be able to plumb what is true and what is fiction in the sales process. Find out what we should be doing in today's show. Welcome back to year six of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie, Tokyo franchise owner, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My latest book is Stop Wasting Money on Training. And the Japanese title is Training de Okane o Muru ni Sunru wa Yamimashou. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka, in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are here to win in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 275, Pour on the Value. Sore dewa ikimashou. So let's get going. In the profession of sales, we don't have any budget, is one of the most widespread pushbacks from buyers to our sterling offer. It's also a false flag as well. We should never believe it when we hear this because they certainly have budget. What they really mean is they are not prepared to allocate any of their budget for this product or service. If we fully believe that what we are selling is going to help them, then we are thinking why they would be crazy not to make the allocation. The issue is with us, we, the salespeople. We've not provided enough value to warrant any change in the current allocations. This is me too, when I'm the buyer. If I get hit up for some expenditure, and I am not convinced that at that price point I'm getting sufficient value, then I reject the offer. I don't say it directly though. I try to be gentle and nice and just say, it's not in my budget. Well, that is crap actually. My budget, like everyone else's budget, is a set of random numbers in cells in spreadsheets. Budgets are built on assumptions, hopes, expectations and aspirations. The whole thing is a tissue of lies and wishful thinking. On the left side of the PL is written some words describing the topics, things like salary, rent, marketing. On the right side, on that line, under the column for the current month, there sits a figure attached to that topic. Where did that figure come from? It was an assumption at the start of the year of where the money would be likely spent in the next 12 months. In reality, though, we overspend in some areas, we underspend in others. If we are motivated enough, we can find the money. We just take it out of one cell and we transfer it to another. So I don't have any budget for this. It's simply buyer self-delusion. Fine, but what can we do about it? The value persuasion failure is due to a number of factors. We may not have fully understood their business or their needs. So we have been suggesting the wrong or a weak solution. They don't find this convincing enough. Maybe our questioning component of the sales interview was insufficient in scope. Or maybe they didn't open up to us and tell us all. We only got the tip of the iceberg and their real concerns are still lurking under the waterline. Remembering that often this is the first or second meeting with a client and the first full sales call. We are a relative stranger to them, yet here we are, bold as brass, interrogating them with an inch of their life, like one of those hardened detectives on a rough beat that you see in the movies. If the trust hasn't been established, then they may not want to expose all of their firm's dirty laundry to a new face. Or maybe we did understand, but the solution we presented didn't grab them. This can be the issue of the gap between where they are now and where they want to be, being too small. I had this recently. 
I went through the solution in detail, but I could sense this wasn't pushing any excitement buttons. I failed to explain well enough how the solution I was proposing for the money sought was going to improve their business. Reflecting on that meeting later, I realized I hadn't done a good enough job of drawing out word pictures of how things would be different inside the company once they had our solution. I didn't describe in enough detail how the people would be changed and really firing. I was operating at 30,000 feet and needed to get down on the deck more about the positive differences we would bring. They felt they could get where they wanted to go under their own steam without my invaluable help and assistance. That failure to make the sale was on me. Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Winning with Relationship Selling course now in either Japanese or English. The best seller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new Bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear, and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is the product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Welcome back. In other cases, it may be a timing issue on budgets. The person we are talking to has to justify the number to someone in the windowless basement room downstairs who are wearing green eye shades, shirt armbands, and counting the money. The sacred budget created at the start of the year doesn't include this allocation, and now we want to make a change. This is where we have to get creative. We need to look for payment timings that won't trigger alarm bells in the accounting section. Maybe we split the payments across months or financial years to make it easier to get through the bean counters. Maybe we deliver the service or product now and get paid later. In many countries, you wouldn't dream of doing that. But Japan is different in that regard because you are unlikely to get ripped off. This timing issue came up recently. I had made a full solution proposal and the local team liked it. Headquarters in Europe, however, had a meltdown. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Anytime you take that miserable EU peso and put it into yen, the currency calculations boggle their minds, old world imaginations. Never mind that this is a totally different economy or that their own local staff salary bill here in Japan is totally vast compared to what they are facing in Europe for the same level positions. They conveniently overlook these realities and can't get their head around spending such a huge sum of money. The exception would be Scandinavian countries because their pricing is always higher than ours in Japan. Fortunately, we were able to come up with a solution that enabled the local country head to move one set of numbers from one cell to another and do the business. This was worked into this year's and next year's budgets. This proves my point. <clears throat> they actually had the money all along. So it was an allocation problem, not a sufficiency issue. As salespeople, we can get confused about this and think we have to start slashing our numbers to push the deal over the line, but this is a false flag. Come on, we have to be better than that. This discounting course of action is the mantra of the amateur salespeople who doesn't have a clue about what they are doing. These people 
spoil it for the rest of us, by the way, and I wish they would depart the profession and leave it to the professionals. In this example, it was just a question of being able to pony up the value component sufficiently to get them to make the switch. So sometimes, it is not in my budget, can be rejigged, and it is our job to make that happen. Step one is to change our mindset and never believe what we're being told, and instead, get busy and start working on creative ways to belie that statement. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and so please, subscribe to it on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now. dale-carnegie.co.jp It's awesome value, so check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we're releasing content six days a week. By the way, how many companies, let alone training companies in Japan, are doing that, do you suppose? Answer, just one. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training. Now, for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentation Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches in the Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Supro Podcast Show. Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcasts. For TV shows, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show. Every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support, and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people, and please join us in that endeavor. Our training mantra is, we are 100% committed to using our soft skills training to transform your career and business. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training are in your corner here in Nippon. In episode number 276, we're talking about how to have a positive mindset. So, Yoroshiku, onegaitashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. We only have one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.